everyone welcome back to my channel and in today's video you got it we're gonna be making burgers and this time I'm gonna show you how to make homemade burgers and fries so stay tuned okay so what you need are what I recommend is the butterball company for burgers I don't know if you can if it's backwards to you or not but for my camera it is but butterball is the best brand where I buy turkey burgers from or you can get whatever you want anything that's considered a burger or ground beef burger but I recommend the butterball turkey burgers so we got our burgers and some fries you can get any kind of fries you want as long as they're like french fry related I get the extra crispy fries just this time just because the other crinkle cut fries that, that I baked the last time they were still kind of soft, but with the crispy fries, it shouldn't be a problem. So make sure that you have burger and fries of your choice, along with everything else that you need, like a spatula, pans, and stuff like that. And I'll present that to you in just a moment. All right, so we're gonna start off with the pan that I normally use for the fries. What I recommend doing is get, get aluminum foil, and make sure that it's about right. And just make sure that we cover it thoroughly so that pretty much the entire pan is covered. Now, I recommend covering it with aluminum foil so that it's less of a mess and plus that way the fries do not stick to the pan itself and i think it was just a hair too short but that'll do so that's the aluminum foil for the pan that we're going to use for the fries now i'm going to take out what else we need up dun, 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 the pan for the burgers i'm gonna place them on the stove top and then from here if you guys can see that i'm gonna make sure that i set it to medium around here and then i'm gonna let it heat up so i'll be back in a moment all right now while that's heating up i'm gonna put a few two of these here so that when the fries are done baking and I take them out of the oven, I can place them on top of here so that it doesn't burn the counter, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so there's that. I'm going to wait for that to heat up and we'll go from there. All right. So it says here, preheat to 450, bake nine minutes, turn the fries over and continue baking seven to 10 more minutes until a light golden color reaches on the fries so that's exactly what i'm gonna do so in a moment i'm going to open this and then i'll place them on the pan all right guys so i forgot that i need the scale for the fries so i can measure on the number of ounces that i place on the pan so that it determines how many servings i'll be eating so i'm gonna turn the scale on and then open this Oh, these really, these look really good. These remind me of the new, the new fries at Sonic's. If, if you guys like them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to place them nicely. If you guys can see that. Normally I just throw them on here and then I stack them up, line them up nicely later. And then I go from here. I forgot the most important thing. I forgot to spray a little bit of olive oil on the pan before placing the fries on here. So I'm gonna have to start over. But I'll have you guys with me while I do that. So once you have this pan covered with the aluminum foil, take some olive oil. 
not too much, just enough. And then we can place the fries on top. That's very important. So as I place the fries nicely on here, I'm gonna make sure that I cover it up so that every bit of space is filled in on these fries. And I gotta preheat the oven too. I completely forgot to do that, but I'll go ahead and get it done. So, one moment, again. <laughs> All right, now it's time to preheat the oven. So bake, and the package said 450. I, that is kind of scary though, to have it that high and then hit start. I mean, we've baked things before, so it's not that bad. So I finished this, and I just gotta wait for the oven to preheat, and then I'll go ahead and work on the fries. All right, guys, I just realized that I grabbed a smaller pot or pan, but it'll still do. I'm only gonna make one burger, and I put an extra serving of fries so that it helps. And then I'm gonna eat other stuff with it too, so. And the oven is still preheating, but while it is, I'm gonna work on the burger. Now make sure that there's no paper sticking on the patty still, because that's happened to me once before and I had to make sure that I didn't swallow it. <laughs> so that's all you gotta look out for guys when you, when you take this paper off of the patty. And now it's not doing it. There we go. All right, so I got every bit of the paper off pretty much. Now I'm gonna place it on the pan. Oh, before we do that, make sure you put either butter or some olive oil on the pan. And then you place it on here. Oh. There we go. So while the burger cooks, I'm gonna check on the oven. And then once it's ready for preheat, then I'll let you guys know. All right guys, so I just set the timer for the fries. I put them for a few minutes longer and I will have to flip them over still and then probably put it back in the oven. But I set it for extra time, just like I did the last time with the other fries, so. And it's looking good here. In a few more minutes, I gotta flip it over and I'll be back when that's done. All right, time to flip the patty. Just a speck of this. And then I'll flip it over. Sorry about that. And then I'll be back when this other side is done. All right guys, so the fries just finished. I'm gonna check the oven to make sure it cooled down. Okay, I think it be taken out. All right, I'm gonna take the fries out and see how they turned out. Time to serve myself. So I put the burgers done and I put it on toast instead of buns to make it like a toaster club and sandwich burger. And I'm gonna put a little bit of pepper on the fries, which I'll do that in just a moment. All right, this, so this is what my plate looks like. And I'm gonna do a taste test. All right, so I got it here in front of me. I'm gonna do a taste test. 
You can't go wrong with trying the fries out first. Mm. The fries are really good. Especially when you sprinkle some pepper on them. It makes it better. Now I'm gonna try the burger with the with the toast. This is good too. Well, let me swallow first. I gotta say, this is the best home cooked meal I've ever had. Better than the last video when I first cooked burgers. And this time I wanted to show you guys how to make a home cooked meal. Now, for those of you who like Wendy's, Burger King, and McDonald's, you can do whatever you want. But for those of you who are trying to either save money or you don't feel like going out to get something to eat, buy yourself the Butterball Turkey Burgers, doesn't matter which one you get, and your choice of um, crispy fries. And I'll give you a closer view here. Yeah, I took a bite of that, a few bites of these. And the fries are really good, guys. I'll put some pictures on the video too of what I use to make this meal. But that is how to make burger and fries. So thank you guys for watching. I'll have more videos coming up soon. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, and click that bell so you receive notifications for this channel. And I'm actually probably gonna put this video on both my channels and I'll have the links in the description box too. But stay tuned guys.